Welcome to the presentation on averages. Averages is probably a concept that you've already used before, maybe um, not in a mathematical way, but you know people will talk in terms of the average voter wants the politician to do this, or the average student in the class uh, wants to get out early. So you're probably already familiar with the concept of an average, and um, you, you probably already intuitively knew that an average is just a number that represents the uh, the different the different values that a, a group could have, but it can represent that as one number as opposed to uh, giving all of the different values. And let's give a couple of examples of how to compute an average. And you might already know how to do this. So let's say I had the numbers one, uh, three, five, and twenty, and I asked you what is the average of these four numbers. Well, what we do is we literally just add up the numbers and then divide by the number of numbers we have. So we say 1 plus 3 is 4. So let me write that. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 20 equals, let's see, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 20 is 29, right? And we had four numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 goes into 29, and it goes to 7. 7, 28, and then we have uh, 10. Well, I, I didn't have to do that decimal there, but I'll, 2, 8, 20, 5. So 4 goes into 29 7.25 times. So the average of these four numbers is equal to 7.25. And that might make sense to you, because 7.25 is 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 uh, someplace in between these numbers, and we can kind of view this 7.25 as one way to represent these four numbers without having to list these four numbers. Uh, there are other uh, representations you'll learn later on, like the mode. Um, you'll also see that the 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 mean, which uh, we'll talk about later, is actually the same thing as the average. But the average is just one number that you can use to represent a set of numbers. So let's do some problems which I think are going to be close to your heart. Let's say on the first four tests of an exam, I got a, let's see, I got an 80, 80, an 81, an 87, and an 88. What's my average in the class so far? Well, all I have to do is add up these four numbers. So I say 80 plus 81 plus 87 plus 88. Well, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 7 is 7. Se uh, 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. I just ran 8 miles, so I'm a bit tired. And then you have four eights, so that's 32, plus 1 is 33. And now we divide this number by 4. 4 goes into 336. It goes into 33 8 times. 8 times 4 is 32. 33 minus 32 is 1. 16, 4. So the average is equal to 84. So depending on what school you go to that's either a B or a C. So, so far, my average after the first four exams is an 84. Now let's make this a little bit more difficult. We know that the average after four exams, four exams, is equal to 84. Now if I were to ask you, what do I have to get on the next test to average 88 to average an 88 in the class, right? So let's say that x is what I get on the next test. So now what we can say is is that the first four exams, I could either uh, list out the first four um, exams that I took, or I already know what the average is. So I know the sum of the first four exams is going to be 4 times 84. And now I want to add the what I get on the fifth exam, x. And now I'm going to divide that by all five exams. So notice, this number is what 
is the average of my first five exams. We just figured out the average of the first four exams. But now we sum up the first four exams here. We add what I get on the fifth exam, and then we divide it by five, because now we're averaging five exams. And I said that I need to get an 88 in the class. And now we solve for x. So let's, let me make some space here. So 5 times 88 is, let's see, 5 times 80 is 400, so it's 440. 440 equals 4 times 84, we just saw that, is 320 plus 16 is 336. 336 plus x is equal to 440. Well, it turns out if you subtract 336 from both sides, you get x is equal to 104. So unless you have an exam that has some bonus problems on it, it's probably impossible for you to get an 88 average in the class after just the next exam. You'd have to get 104 on that next exam. And let's just look at what we just did. We said after four exams, we had an 84. What do I have to get on that next exam to average an 88 in the class after five exams? And that's what we solved for when we got x. Now let's ask another question. I said after four exams, after four exams, I had an 84 average. If I said that there are six exams in the class, and the highest score I can get on an exam is 100, what is the highest average I can finish in the class if I were to really study hard and get 100 on the next two exams? Well, once again, what we'll want to do is assume we get 100 on the next two exams, and then take the average. So we'll have to sum up all six exams. So we're going to have the average of six. So we're in the denominator, we're going to have six. The first four exams, the sum, as we already learned, is, is a four exams times the 84 average. And this dot is just times. Plus, there's going to be two more exams, right? Because there's six exams in the class. And I'm going to get 100 in each. So that's 200. And what's this average? Well, four times 84, we already said is 336 plus 200 over 6. So that's 536 over 6. 6 goes into 536. I don't know if I gave myself enough space. But 6 goes into 53 8 times. 48. 56 goes into it 9 times. 9 times 6 is 54. 6 minus is 20. 6 goes into. So we'll see it's actually 89.333333 goes on forever. So 89.3 repeating. So no matter how hard I try in this class, the best I can do, because I only have two exams left, even if I were to get 100 on the next two exams, I can finish the class with an 89.333 average. Uh, hopefully, um, I, I think some of this might have been a little bit of a review for you. You already kind of had a sense of what an average is. And hopefully these last two problems uh, not only uh, taught you how to do some algebra problems involving average, but they'll also uh, help you figure out how well you have to do on your exams to get an A in your math class. Uh, I think you're now ready for the average module. Uh, have fun.